Hi, let me just spend 30 seconds and show you what I find really useful when it comes to data integration and connecting different systems into the same Power App. What you're seeing right now is a portfolio of projects inside Power App. We call it Power PPM. If I click on the Corona effort, which is a hot topic these days, you'll see that this specific project has an ERP ID down here. This ID is the same ID as to be found inside the ERP system, which means essentially that we can use that to connect two sources and use what is called a data flow to import, for instance, actual cost or sales revenue from a financial system directly into my Power App. Let me show you how it works. Um, I've created a simple view where I can click up here and for instance, go to data flow example. And here you can see, um, if I just sort by ERP ID, the Corona effort uh, here project. This one has a sales revenue right now of 150,000 coming in from a separate source, not from within this system. So I have um, created a place here called sales revenue, which show you a basic Excel spreadsheet that has been added to a SharePoint folder, just a document folder. And if I click on that one, it will open up the spreadsheet and the ERP ID number two, I am now going to write 975,000 like this, just as a very basic example. Then we're going to go back to the Power App to trigger that the import will take place right now in this recording. Normally it will run every minute or every hour, every day, depending on when you set it. You'll find it right here on the data flows. And here you'll see when it loads my data flow, called sales import from SharePoint. To show you how it works, we can click edit, which first of all, takes us to the place where I can find the source of my data. And as you can see right here, we have the ERP ID and the sales revenue. So you can see it, that's the value I just entered into the spreadsheet. Now this value obviously will come from the other system, the ERP system. And then every night that system will place a nice spreadsheet somewhere for us so we can take that up and put it into our system. So if you are used to working with Power BI, you can change the data right here. You can change this to a specific format, a currency, um, decimals, whatever you need, text fields, for instance. Now we click next. And here you can then map the entities so that you can yourself configure how the data should be transferred. Right now we have what is called an alternate key field. That's actually the most important part here. That's the connector between one system and the other system. So if I scroll down here, you'll find right here the ERP ID. So coming from the spreadsheet, that's this field, ERP ID. And when it has to dump the data into our Power App, it's the same one that it uses to connect those two wells. Further down, we have what is called sales revenue, where you can see the sales revenue from the spreadsheet is going into the sales revenue in the Power App. Then I can click Next. And now we have to set up how often this import should run, for instance, every hour, or we can just run it right now just to see how it works. You click on create, and then the guide or the import wizard will start and you'll be able to see step-by-step um, step what the system is actually doing. The first thing it does is that it says waiting to start. Then it moves to generating field mapping, creating definition, executing the load and typically in a matter of seconds you'll see that it has executed the load and the data has been injected into our power app so now the data is transferred that's why it says completed and we just click done so going back to our power app and to the main area if we click on projects hopefully we can see that we just switch to the data flow example that the project number two, Corona effort now has sales revenue worth 975,000 euros. And that's how easy it is to connect any kind of source through Excel or directly connected through a web service and get that data moved into a power application like this. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it and I hope you found it useful. Bye.